need some of that gear too here. I feel so plain right now. <laughs> got good colors on. I know. Though. Thank you, thank there you, you thank you, Hannah. We start off our ESPN now update with college basketball. Scary moment during the Tar Heels ACC matchup at Boston. Hey, Hannah, thank you so much. Well, let me tell you, Charles Owens put up numbers, but that wasn't enough to get elected into the Hall of Fame. In fact, no wide receiver has gotten into the Hall of Fame on his first time on the ballot since Jerry Rice in 2010. Here's what T.O. had to say about it earlier on Mike and Mike. Yes, thank you, Jay. And from CJ's heroic performance in the biggest stage, we go to another great performance, but on the hard floor. Let's check this out. It's the Utah Jazz stretch their win streak to seven thanks to a clutch performance from Gordon Hayward, who had never won in Dallas in his entire NBA career. Tony, what else is going on? Lots of going on, sir. Good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. Good morning at home. Here's what we're following on ESPN now. It was a sense of deja vu for Kevin Love and the Cavaliers last night. Cavaliers hosting the... Yeah, you guys have the group. I have a party of one over here, although that's not true. I've got friends, friends who bring bling joining me here. The Broncos victory parade continues and it rolls on into Bristol. We're joined by two key... Anderson, who had a touchdown run in Super Bowl 50. You'll, you'll have that always for the grandkids. Yeah. Danny Trevathan, eight tackles to lead the Broncos in Super Bowl 50. And special team star Kayvon Webster, one of the team captains, right out there from the start uh, with the coin toss. Guys, yeah. congratulations. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. I couldn't believe. Oh, wait, first of all, happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> Number 25, right? Yeah. Way to celebrate. Right. Nice. Win. Threw a little party for you. 
in Denver. Denver did. Uh -huh. My teammates did. Yeah. Love them. That's right. And I know your birthday was last week. So, yeah, Monday. so happy belated. We'll just continue Thanks. the celebration. <laughs> what was that parade like? What an incredible scene it looked like from the outside. What was it like to be there? Oh, man, it was one of the most experienced. Uh, best experience I've ever had in my life. I mean, you got to give it up to our fans. Here on the East Coast, rolling on SportsCenter AM, Kevin Nagani, Jay Harris, Jamie Sire, and Serena Morales. Yeah, and it's time now for our Now segment. We look at stories that are resonating with the sports fans. And late last night, it was Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning in the spotlight. Peyton joined Jimmy Fallon last night on The Tonight Show, and the two of them had some fun playing a game Jimmy likes to call superlatives. If you haven't seen it, we're just going to show you. 